Civil and children's rights groups are demanding state officials provide education for over two dozen juveniles who will soon be sent to the old reception hall on Angola's campus. The decision to transfer juveniles to the nation's biggest maximum security lockup comes after multiple juvenile escapes at detention centers across the state. News 10's Britt LaFaso tells us how these groups are fighting to make sure these juveniles will have education. Britt. While Governor John Bell Edwards ha promised that the juveniles will get the same educational and counseling programs in Angola that they currently get from the Office of Juvenile Justice, children's rights advocates are not sure. They say there are no plans in place to educate the juveniles right now. The Louisiana Center for Children's Rights filed this letter in early August to the state departments with control over the juveniles' education in Angola. Their demand to provide detailed information about how they will ensure education to the teens. Any documentation that's going to show us the plans to provide an education at the Angola facility from the special school district and from OJJ, they said that they do not have anything, which is very concerning. Attorney Lauren Winkler says because Angola is an adult prison, there's concerns they do not have the infrastructure to educate kids. She also says the lack of planning and transparency is concerning. No move of children from a youth detention center to Angola should happen. I mean, kids should not be in at Angola period, but um, it's very clear that there's no plans in place to ensure that it's a smooth transfer that and that they're going to be getting what they're one entitled to and two what you know is really going to help them in their future. Winkler also adds state laws require children to have an education and that does not change when they enter a juvenile detention center. She also says teens should not be in Angola in the first place. And moving kids to Angola is an incredibly um, serious move and I think we all just need to take a step back and think about what message is that sending to kids. Right now civil rights attorneys are asking a federal judge to block state officials from moving the teens to Angola. A complaint was filed today in a U.S. District Court. Britt LaFonso, KLFY News 10.